Hey guys, welcome to another video from Wacky Engineering. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing an overview on PLCs. So what is a PLC? A PLC is a programmable logic controller used in the industrial setting in factories all across the world. PLCs control all sorts of different things in a factory such as automated cranes, conveyor systems, robotics, they control aspects of CNC machines, Anything you can think of that's automated in a factory generally is going to be controlled by a PLC. So how is a PLC able to control all these different things? Well, it has different inputs that can bring in different sensors and different switches to be able to read certain things that are happening out in the real world on these machines. And then it executes a program inside of it that the user programs for a specific function. And it runs through that program and based on the different sensors, the different data it's seeing coming in from those inputs, it's able to execute different outputs to make changes to the real world, such as turning motors on, commands to variable frequency drives, lights, hydraulic valves for hydraulic cylinders, or maybe just turning a light on on an operator panel to tell an operator that something's happening. There's all kinds of different things that a PLC might control. So PLCs work great in different factories, but how might you use one at home? Well, you could program a PLC to control a sump pump in your basement. Maybe you want to add a second sump pump to have some redundancy. And you could program the PLC to cycle between them or potentially kick them both on if you added some external floats. Maybe you want to control a garage door opener. Uh, another idea might be a gate opener using a linear actuator. You could make a, a really cool Christmas light display using a PLC to control lights to flash in different sequences. Something else you could build that we've already built was an automated can crusher using a pneumatic cylinder to crush cans. So in front of us here are a couple different styles of PLCs. All of these are an Allen Bradley brand PLC. This large one is the oldest one on the table. It is an SLC 150, also known as a Slick 150. These were made in the late 80s. Right here we have a Pico Allen Bradley. This is considered more of a programmable relay, uh, but it still, still does fall under the same kind of classification as a PLC. A uh, cool, interesting fact about this one is you can actually program it on the screen. Right here we have the Micrologix 1000. This is one of my personal favorites. I have several of these. And this one is the analog version. So it can actually take in analog sensors and then it can also output analog. This one over here, this is Alan Bradley's Micro 820. This is from their 800 series. This is the newest PLC on the table. So PLCs do require programming software to program them. As mentioned before, this one here, you can program it on the screen, but the rest of these do require some sort of software to communicate with the PLC, be able to make the program, and then download it to it. So this one here and this one here, that programming software is free. This one here, the software is extremely old. If you can find it online, it's probably free too. It is not something that a distributor would carry. You wouldn't be able to get you know, this software because it was made in the 1980s and it runs on DOS. So this is going to be a series of videos on these PLCs. And we will start with the Micrologix 1000 and kind of go over how to get that software for free from Rockwell. And the software is called RS Logix 500. And we will do a series of videos on how to get that software, how to program with it. We'll start out real simple so that anyone, if they wanted to purchase one of these, would be able to follow some of these videos along and they'd be able to figure it out and control things in their home. Okay, so in front of us, we have a trainer with a Micrologix 1000 inside of it. This is a pretty cool little trainer that you can use to kind of help teach yourself how to program. And this is what we're gonna be utilizing in the first set of videos we're gonna be making. So as mentioned before, one of our ideas was building a Christmas light display. And this is exactly that. This controls Christmas lights in different arrays. Um, you can program a sequencer inside the PLC. That is something that we will cover later on in these tutorials. So just to show a little bit how this, this Christmas light display would work. The PLC controls with its outputs 
these different receptacles here and you would be able to plug in different strings of Christmas lights into it. And that PLC would turn those lights on and off in whatever sequence you programmed inside of it. So that kind of wraps up this brief overview of what a PLC is, what it's used for, and what you might use it for at your home. If you found this video interesting, please like and subscribe and continue watching for more content in the future.